Are you ready to take your Instagram Reels up to the next level to look a bit higher end, a little more professional, and definitely get more attention on the platform? I actually recommend to people to not film inside of Reels if at all possible because the quality and the resolution of the Instagram camera is nothing compared to the quality and resolution of your phone. So I recommend that you film in a vertical format on your phone directly inside of your phone's camera app. You also have access to better editing features which will allow you to change your exposure, your coloring, your black points, your brightness, your contrast to bring that up to the next level. And if you need a tutorial on how to do that, I've linked one down below so that you can bring this up to where it needs to be to look like a professional has shot this for you. Once you've handled your coloring, you are going to move over to my favorite app ever, Adobe Premiere Rush. And if you have an Adobe CC subscription, you already have access to this for free. Otherwise, it's very cheap to get. You can even earn credits toward it by recommending things like TikTok in their partners program. So inside of Adobe Premiere Rush, you have the ability to do it on mobile or on your desktop. It can be cloud-based. You can turn this on and off for different projects you're working on. So it does transfer over so you can start on one, finish on the other. Super easy to do. And I have a full tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Rush linked below, but I want to show you my favorite features that I use when I'm creating Instagram Reels so that you can use those too. But if you want the full crash course, I've had that linked down below for you. Inside of Adobe Premiere Rush, you are going to either click on a project you've already started or you're going to reuse a project you've already started or you start a new project. Because I have a lot going on here, I'm just going to click on one that I've already got so that I don't waste space by adding in another one. I can then import my media by using that blue plus mark down at the bottom. I can film inside of the camera here, but I don't recommend it. The quality is not as good and the color controls not as good as the ones built into my iPhone. But you do have the option of doing that, especially if you want quick editing because you're filming little clips and you can just do it as you go, which I have been known to do before. So let's just say I've gone ahead and I have added in my media. It is good to go. I can then scroll on this and expand it so I can see where my audio is so I know where I need to clip it and get rid of things. So let's just say this is the word I want to clip it on. I'm just going to scroll over till I see the little scissors. I'll tap on that and then I can either delete what I don't need or I can move it around. If I'm doing something like picture in picture, all I have to do is hold down on that button and drag it up to the top layer and move it wherever I need to. To resize my footage, I just double tap on the layer that I want to work on and then I am going to double tap on the actual screen. So I tapped on the layer on the toolbar, then I tapped on the screen where I can edit things. And the guide is going to pop up and I can just change it with my thumbs. Now you can do this both on the phone and on the desktop version, but again, crash course is in that video down below. And you can see how that just kind of plays through and pops up as I need it. And I do have the ability to kind of change my layouts on that. Now another thing that I really like is that I can control my audio. So if I need to mute a clip, I can absolutely do that. Just click on that mute. I can actually change the sound um, and the rates of my track. So if I put music to this, I'm going to lower my music down. I might bump up my audio. By default, it is at 50%. That is where your default baseline is. So you know you can either bump it up if it needs to be louder or quiet it if you need to be speaking over something like your music. You do have the ability to change your speed, you can change your coloring, you can add in graphics, you can put text over it, you even have some cool features that you can kind of add in um, like little hearts or little subscribe buttons so that it's right there and you can just make it bigger and smaller, you can tap on it to change the words all those great things. You can see how that kind of pops up right there and you are good to go. This is going to be so simple for creating your reels. And remember, reels are under 30 seconds long. TikToks go up to 60 seconds and you're just going to export it. Those are just the basic features that I tend to use while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to click the export button, which is up in the top right hand corner. It's got that little box with the arrow pointing out of it. And I can change my quality settings if that's something that I want to do and export it directly to my phone. Like I said, if I am working on reels where I'm splicing things up, where I have series where I have two characters talking back and forth. So it's a line, a line, a line, a line. I just splice up between them. I tend to do that on the desktop because it's easier to move things around and manipulate it on screen. But if I'm just cropping the beginning and the end, maybe doing some overlays, I can do it right inside of my phone. For the full tutorial, I've got that linked down below. But Adobe Premiere Rush is like my favorite way of editing my reels, my TikToks, my IGTVs. I use it for all of my video editing for YouTube and YouTube shorts. And I highly recommend you take a look at it because it's so simple to use. It's functional. It is basic. You don't have to struggle to learn things like you do with a lot of Adobe programs. And this is going to be a total game changer for you. Plus it comes free with your Adobe CC subscription and it's super easy to gain access to if you want to use this to create your reels, your TikToks, your YouTube shorts, or whatever vertical format content you want. Bonus tip, because this is so easy, 
they actually have it set so that you can change your format. So you can do it horizontally, vertically, or in a square format as well, and then you just change what you've got. You can move things around on screen. So if you are making one video, before you replace that footage, just change the orientation and put it out in a square format. Just kind of change where things are laid out so that it makes sense, and you will be good to go easy like that, and you don't have to stress over it. If you have questions on how to use Adobe Premiere Rush, hit me up below, and keep on change, um, hanging out here with us. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that you know what we're doing to create a profitable business through your smart social media marketing, and using tools like Adobe Premiere Rush to grow your platforms and thrive with Instagram Reels. We're coming to you with more hacks on how to grow with Reels in the next couple of videos, so make sure you stay tuned. I will see you then. Until then, have a great day and stay inspired.